What's good everybody, Sabro 4 here, and I've got a TCG match uh, back in Standard. Uh, we played a lot in Expanded, lots of different decks. I uh, used a little bit of Lapras, I uh, used uh, a little bit of, well not a little bit, a lot of uh, Toxtricity, a lot of Dark Box, definitely a lot of that, and some other stuff that I just did and uh, um, didn't really showcase on the channel, just behind the scenes I guess, uh, off screen. Uh, but yeah, trying out a lot of decks, and yeah, your eyes are not deceiving you. Uh, we are going to be using this Matt Party deck. Uh, so I never really used any of these decks, like not the Night March, not the Last March. But I decided that the Matt Party one is probably the cooler of the three. It's got like a theme going uh, with the Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> so... I thought, hey, you know what? We've got the cards. It's from Darkness and Plays. It's one of the newer stuff. So let's try it out. And my opponent already fucking me up with the Zigzagoons there. So yeah, that little Sinisty, it's a big weakness, the 30 HP. Both of them have 30 HP, so it really sucks. I don't know why they printed both of them like that. It's just very low HP. Like, even if it had, like, 40, it would have made a difference. But anyway... Got that free KO, my opponent. It's the price you pay, I guess, when you use a deck like this. But now, it's time for us to start rolling. So obviously this deck, what you want to do is you want to dump all of your Matt Party Pokemon. Save a few, uh, like the Bundle Buy, and maybe a few uh, Pulte Geist. You, you can do, like, there's a bunch of approaches you can do. You can save, like, a couple of Sinisties and, like, maybe two... Uh, Poltegeist, and just keep that guy as an attacker. Obviously, I've got the triple acceleration energy here. Or what you can do is dump all of those guys too, and maybe not even run Sinisty, and just focus entirely on the bundle buy. Uh, that's something you can do too. Um, I just, it, depending on the game state, I do both. Like sometimes I'll dump two bundle buy and then just keep two. Sometimes I might dump only one, keep more bundle buys. Sometimes I'll dump more bundle buys, just dump three, maybe keep one, and then focus on the Poltegeists. It depends. So, did any GX uh, discard it in my hand, draw a few cards? You gotta run cards like these in this deck, helping you dump. Um, it would have been awesome if we had Ultra Ball for more discard outlets. We just have the Quick Ball as an item one. Everything else is just supporter based or if you want to run Viridian Forest I don't run that in this deck um, my list probably isn't perfect but it worked so far um, the matches that I played uh, the problem is that if you put the Dedena like I play this support Pokemon Pokemon that don't really attack you can't just slap an energy and attack um, I don't run any like u-turn boards or whatever i just have one switch to mitigate that so if they get them stuck they remain stuck and i have to waste like a twin energy if i want to move um, opening with the danny the regular one is bad but we didn't open with it this time uh, so that's good so this deck obviously has a lot of weaknesses but obviously if it explodes it's strong okay we got the double pulte geist then discard you draw two and I'm going to use the Incense. Let's get the Mr. Rhyme too. Discard you as well. I um, only have three of these in this deck. I couldn't manage to get the fourth one. But everything else, I have it in fours. And the Familiar Bell. They pretty much made this to work with the Mad Party, the Night March. I guess they can use that shit too. Insta Search. Let's get the Sinisty. Um... And Roxy gonna discard. Uh, I'm actually gonna go for it. Discard the bundle bar and get the other Pulte guys out, perhaps, since we have both of them together. Okay, so use the quick ball. Discard one more. Looks like I have another one here. The bunny. So let's let's grab you. I've got double Elder Geist V, as you guys can see. Um, 
basically just to help me grab stuff like Roxy back, maybe boss orders. Um, I wish we had something like Tabulele in the standard format again. Hope they print another card like that soon. Um, it's more of the same, but I just sort of like that effect. It's really useful in certain decks. But yeah, okay, so we get our first prize, so now we're even. Uh, my opponent, I guess I didn't mention it at all, but it's obvious, is Eternatus VMAX. Uh, so it's going to be rough, but I dumped a lot of dudes. It's like the sort of deck you play for 10 minutes on your own. So we should be doing good enough damage, at least to get two hit knockouts. Now, I really don't like the fact that he got that easy kill on the Sinistee, and you know he's going to get his dude ready. Ah, damn it, he's targeting the other one too. Damn it. So he's doing it again. Hope he fucks up. Um, I mean, if he does, I'm just going to play the other Bonobai and then discard the Poltergeist. But it looks like he's doing it. And I guess he just needs like a scoop up net. He grabbed the Crobat. He's probably going to see that shit. Damn you. I don't get it. Like, why did they make it have 30 HP? Come on. Uh, you're going to give this deck such a big disadvantage. And I guess he, he didn't. Oh, no, there it is. I thought maybe he couldn't do it, but I guess he did. Prick. Okay, so the the Sinistee is going to die. And even though he's not attacking, he's gathering the energies, like getting the big guy ready. You know, he managed to get two prizes just by abusing the scoop up nets and the zigzagoon. Damn it. Anyway, so at least I'm good with the energies. I, I've got these guys, like these army of map party guys ready. And now we're going to dump all of them actually. And make it rid of your stadium too. I got the boss's orders. And evolution is sense. Nothing left to search. Let's just go for it. Pick on the big dude. Once this guy dies, I know that I'm good. So mad party. A good 200 damage. So two hit KO range for sure. Um, no way you can do enough for a one hit KO. But at least now I damaged the dude. Like he was hoping he would come in fresh. But no you don't. Uh... Now, if you want to use this guy, he has to die. Okay, and then he's going to grab Hoopa with Great Ball. So that's a Pokemon that's bad against me. He can just use that for one energy and kill my small guys. So there it is, the Special Darkness energy. I guess he's going to go for it. Kind of sucks. But we're just going to keep at it. Um, all I can really do is just attack. That's it. And uh, let's see, it would be great if I saw like, uh, there it is, the quick ball. I was going to say it would be great if I saw like a Pokemon so we can use communication and get uh, Eldegoss or just draw Eldegoss. But we managed to do it with the quick ball. So perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Kill the dude, get my three prizes. And now you're just going to have to sacrifice a lot of your bench. Like, our HP is so low that they don't really need this guy's effect. Just even with five Pokemon, it's more than enough damage. But maybe if I force him to get rid of some shit uh, that he might want there, I don't know. Like, he used the scoop up nets. So maybe he can get rid of the Zigzagoons. Uh, anyway, whatever. So he's going to get rid of Crobat. That's actually quite smart, because that guy I can pull and kill and then win. We just need two prizes. So it's a bit sad, but I mean, there wasn't much I could have done. Uh, maybe I could have just, I don't know, just save the boss's orders for later, but it was just, it's too good to pick on that guy. Has the energy, didn't attack yet. Get rid of him. And I still have an Eldegoss V in the deck, so we can make this play but I, I doubt he's gonna be stupid enough to play another two prize Pokemon uh, maybe he will 
maybe he won't. So Marnie gonna disrupt my hand. There's the Elder Gosphy, and he just passed the turn completely. Um, not bad, if I say so myself. And uh, Elder V boss's orders. I can make this play again. And we are going to pull the big boy himself to hit KO range. And you can't leave him active, otherwise you lose. Now, thinking back though, I made this play and uh, he retreated. If I killed the one prize dude, then I could just I could have just used boss's orders and then pull another one prize Pokemon and then win. Now we can't pull again. So I'm gonna have to kill whatever he has active. And he likely won't use the the other dude again. So we made that play for nothing. So that was that was bad on my end. I sort of screwed myself over there. Um, the benefit of that play is that it means that if he can't attack with somebody else, can't switch or whatever, then he's in checkmate. But he has that special dark energy so he could switch. So I, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, now we're down to one prize. But... He got the KO with the uh, Hoopa. And now that he's down to two prizes, I'm open for a boss's orders play. So yeah, this, this wasn't wise on my end. This was not wise. So there he is. Uses that. And we just lose. But anyways, not too bad for, I guess, our first match to show with Matt Party. Uh, we came quite close. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. We'll see.